tell you when we're alive. That ain't good enough. Might be synced up perfectly. All right, looks like we're live. Meanwhile, aboard the Cajun Queen. Pierre LeBlanc, known by his fellow anglers as Scaly Pete. Daddy hunting sharks. I hunt sharks. In the blood. There was somebody bad at this, you'd be following them, yeah? Well, people who got a lot of wrong ideas about sharks. Scientists say how we gotta coexist. Now, how you gonna coexist with a shark, huh? Shark just wanna do one thing. That's kill you, eat you, and you out. What I do, I consider a sacred honor. Kill them all if I could. Too bad, and for 24 hours to a day. Shark spotted in Fossey Fire. <clears throat> Several deaths reported. Shark can be identified by rusty harpoon embedded in plank. Get the f out of my way. Got a job to do. This is an adult bull shark. Fast, fierce, and armed quite literally to the teeth. She has little to fear here in the <laughs> Gulf. Oh, what a cool environment under here. Yeah. Oh, and look, I've got some damage. I've got a harpoon lodged in me. What <clears throat> a bitch. Who did that? Look at that brick. Is that brick ours? No, we don't have anything in this the game. Muscular marvel that I'm aware of, at least. Through its watery water. Interesting. Uh... What a cool environment, because like, how often do you actually have environments that you're swimming around underneath? Yeah, and it's like, and it's like zero G too, which is cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The lighting's cool too. I was super excited. So welcome uh, to everyone who's here uh, to a texture hunt. Me and Matt are gonna be playing Man Eater. Uh, we're digging in and taking a look at the start of the game. Where you're clearly swimming through some sewers. The predator's 350 fearsome teeth are put on full display. <laughs> the narrator cracks me up. Yeah, I love it. And like you do learn stuff about fish and sharks and stuff like that. It's fun. Oh, that's a good pipe. You know how annoying it would be to get it down here to service this stuff? Yeah. Well, this is how they get, like, those alligators that are in, like, the... Aren't there, like, alligators that are even, like, the New York uh, sewer sewers? system? Or... Yeah, I don't know or how much... Like, Florida. I, well, it's, it is New York, That's but I don't know how much that is apocryphal. Like, how much that is just, like... People dwarf. making it up. Or scaring their children. <laughs> you better flush the toilet or an alligator will come out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, oh yeah, tail whip. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out what made them think to make this. Because, like, you know what I mean? Like, you you know, you sit in any game dev class, and you get a bunch of, like, pie-in-the-sky sort of ideas. I don't know if I've ever heard anything quite like this. It's just a wild I, idea to me. I wonder if it's uh, Jar Jar Binks saying there's always a bigger fish. <laughs> Dude, that would be where it starts. Okay. Oh, I need to... I'm just... I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. Okay. <clears throat> Man, having too much fun eating. All that garbage on the ground. Got a tail whip your... Friend. This is an extremely dense environment when you think about it. Like, how much, like, objects and stuff are in here. Exhibiting behavior more common to a thresher shark, this bull makes creative use of her powerful tail. Yeah, and it's very colorful. It's very There's colorful. Brain coral. Now, Man. this isn't our texture, but we have one of them. We do have one of those, for sure. It'd it's be a cool experiment fun. to take uh, some of our, our textures, because that's an older one, some of our textures, and try to recreate things like we see in these games when we play them. Yeah, and I've never done an underwater environment. That sounds kind of yeah. fun. And, that, like, for this, real, though. I've always thought this is really cool how you get, just like on land, you get dunes, but they look very different underwater i feel like uh-huh 
I feel like you usually get these tighter ripples. You don't get the giant dunes. The tide ripples are really cool. I think we have a couple materials that have that design on them. Uh, or something close to them. But they're, again, they're not really made for underwater. We have very few textures that are specifically made for underwater. Mm -hmm. I think we have a couple sands and a couple muds, maybe, but... Yeah, I do remember doing, like, a bunch of, like, coral, and I did some you seaweed. Did coral, and you did seaweed. We have some kelp. And That'd I think cool. you can just, like, tint the sands and stuff, and, like, you can definitely blend what we have to make environments like this. Oh, for yeah, sure. You can make this environment with everything we have, aside from, like, maybe some of the specific kelp fronds, like the kelp trees. Are they trees? Okay. Like, are they considered trees? Like, they're just kelp plants. A shark I don't think a there's any underwater trees. Well, trees is kind of a misnomer anyway, uncut. funny enough. Trees is not really like a dedicated classification of uh, plant. It's just a plant within its own clade and, and family. Like, tree is not a defined a thing. We just, it's a, it's a language thing. We just see tree and say that tree. That That's tree. Uh, oh. Hold on, I'm trying to see what I'm actually supposed to be doing. Okay, you can jump into the air from knifing to reach enemies above the water. Press A to jump from knifing. Okay. An underwater scene would be fun to build our materials because, like, uh, like looking underneath there, like we can literally build it with everything that we we can build it with anything we, in the library we have. It'd be slightly different, but it'd be pretty close. Because there's even places where you can recolor, like, get this guy. You can recolor rock to be coral. Oh, I missed. Oh man, I'm having a hard time getting this guy. Oh, I got. Oh no, they're still on there. The big fish plunges to the ocean below. Getting away. The bull's speed is astounding for a large marine predator. Delicious. Still alive? They are. They think they can get away, but they can't. A breaching shark is a rare and calorie-intensive spectacle. <laughs> Just fucking chop them. The best part about this that cracks me up in a way is that like sharks are like I don't want to say they're gentle as creatures, but they literally don't care about humans 90% of the time. I think if they knew how much meat was on us and how easy prey we are, I think they'd eat us a lot more. Maybe. We don't taste good to them, though. Yeah. It, or maybe maybe good is the wrong word for it. We don't taste like what they think they should need to eat, right? They don't, we, don't, they don't, we don't taste like anything they normally eat, so they're like, Bleh. Half the time, sharks just spit people out. Oh, yeah? Yeah, because a lot of shark attacks are just what they call exploratory bites. They don't have uh -huh. hands, so whenever they investigate their environment, they use their mouth. So Right. So that's why you get a lot of surfers where they'll get, like, they could have easily died. They'll get bit across the chest, they'll have teeth mark all around it. But then, like, the shark just doesn't eat them. Yeah, just leaves. It's estimated that only one that's crazy. Of a thousand sea turtles that's good to keep to in mind if I ever get attacked by a shark. It's true. Quite the survivor. Okay. Now we just need to do some lunges. Oh, and we could, uh... Okay. And you can get out of the water for a ways, too. That's yeah, I saw that, you. like, the breaching shark thing whenever you hopped up on yeah. there. This okay, water this up. water texture is really good. I wonder if they built it in-engine or used an actual, like, texture. I wonder what engine they used. Let me look that up real quick. I think it's Unreal of some sort. Unreal Engine 4. <laughs> the controls on, on land are hilarious, though. You're just oh, kind of run out of oxygen now. Yeah, and then you start taking damage. The shark to the water. <laughs> you look so pathetic flopping around on the land. Like a fish out of water. Okay, hold right trigger on an object and press left bumper to whip shot. Can I do that with a human? Let me try that. Because that'd be cool if I could throw a human. Or maybe I can throw a fish. Okay, hold on. Yes, 
fishy. Okay. Right trigger. And then... That's cool. I don't know if I've really used that much. <laughs> oh, the humans you just kind of eat, it seems like. Well, if they run out of hit points, I think you have to eat them. Man, brutal. That cloud is up there pretty nice. <laughs> what badness. Alright, we've learned to swim, it says. The idea that that beach would not immediately be abandoned forever. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I could ever swim again. <laughs> if I saw that happen, and I saw people getting, like, eaten and dragged down. No. Man. <laughs> even in a pool. Yeah, knows? the ocean is dead to me. The water, water is, is even dead to me. <laughs> I just, I, baby wipes. I'm, I'm bathing with baby wipes from now on. Nothing Who knows when a bull shark's going to come out of my shower head. Like a coral hive. Never stand on the back of one of these sailboats. Will they drown? Oh, you're, they are. Yep. You're just holding them? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the game actually gives you quite a bit of creativity with how you want to be a murderer. They did such a good job modeling the shark, too. Fish and seals. Less discussed is their propensity to feed on fear. <laughs> I like how it labels things. Inflatable unicorn. So if I eat this, it'll just deflate. Oh, it just pops immediately. <laughs> <laughs> the inflatable unicorn will not keep you safe, humans. Shark attacks aren't the only reason a boat is a bad investment. Funny how far you can throw them. <clears throat> it's a very simple game. Kill the beachgoers. <laughs> it even has a different sound for when they're screaming underwater. That's cool. I wonder if it's a separate audio clip or if they just add like an audio filter. I bet to you it's it. a filter. Uh, where like, because like the way you build stuff in Unreal is with zones, right? Oh, you can, you can even hear it like when she was underwater. It's wherever the camera is. That's it, uh, yeah, yeah. That makes sense because there's, there's it's a lot easier to, to set the location of the camera to be the location of the of the player. Uh, Oh, what's it called? There's a word for it. The player, uh... It must be emphasized actor, that this sort right? Of targeted so, violence is quite unusual if the camera's always pinned to this, then, uh, from your point of view, there would be That's different, not, like, zones. Go get him, you have, like, oxygen zone, then you have, like, mm -hmm. underneath the water, you would have, like, the water area. Oh, there's shark hunters. I don't know... There, I don't know why they're after me. I don't know either. You've done nothing wrong. Lunge out of the water and bite humans off boats. Left trigger while in air for a second boost. Okay. So they probably have blueprints, right? So like, the blueprint for the underwater thing uh, has something that dampens uh, audios. Like muffles audio like you're underwater. And then the one, oh, damn. And the one above, it does... Oh, there's a dude in the water with you. Oh man, I am not... There we go, got one. And whenever you eat something, you heal, which is nice. Man, imagine losing one of your best friends to, like, a fucking shark just eating itself. <laughs> out of the water and... I mean, to be fair, you shot, you're, shooting at, you're shooting the shark first, but in this situation, 
like, who shot first? Did we shoot first, but using climate change against sharks? Like, is this is this the sh Mother Nature's revenge? Is just sharks? Mother Nature's white blood cells are sharks. Or maybe this is a. Or no, I guess you're killing a lot of women too. <laughs> I was gonna say, is this like feminism's revenge on the patriarchy? Because this shark is a lady, and she means say, business. She means business. She ain't here to mess around. Do that, okay. Uh -oh. I'm just trying to figure out why you would think it was a good idea to get like in the in the shark's natural habitat. Yeah, it, I mean it gives them a better aim. It's hard to shoot something that's under the water. But that's true. yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't I wouldn't do it. Oh man, why am I having such a hard time? Okay. Maybe I need to tail whip them. Oh, there we go. I think it's on fire. So long okay. as the breath of life remains, sharks are great. Oh, there's so many. Okay. Oh, that's a lot of screaming. That guy got far away. How did he get that far? I think it might have just been that I didn't see him. It's funny to me how they do the blood decal because it spreads so fast and also like uh, it just I don't know. It, it feels very painted on the surface, right? Yeah, that's probably I don't, like complaint is not the word I would use, but that's like been probably my only note so far looking at this is that like that blood decal just looks. Yeah, um, it, it looks very good on the surface. I feel like. Yeah. <clears throat> Guess we'll have to see what it looks like underwater here. I think it looks all right. I don't know. It looks know. all right. It's, it's like a nice little. Cloud. I think it's kind of a technical imitation. I think to make a really accurate, good blood cloud with yeah. like a fluid simulation, I think it would take a lot of processing It'd be too much. Power. It'd be too much. Yeah, they're just putting big, a big uh, soft circle of blood on the surface and calling it a day, right? Because otherwise, you have to like model out like the tendrils, like the floating, like big, thick tendrils of blood you get and stuff like that. You yeah. Got. Well, maybe they'll make a sequel of, to this game someday, and yeah. have some crazy particle effects. Oh, is that supposed to happen? On board the Cajun Queen, Scaly Pete looks over the catch of the day. My daddy's on, all right. But this ain't the shark. Not the one I was looking for. How do you know? How I know? Not big enough. This look like a mega to you. Damn, okay. Oh, oh look at it. She's on for me. Oh, you mama in there? Oh, did you see that hashtag in the bottom right? No. Next time I see her, when I spear her. It said hashtag how's your mama in there? <laughs> God is at hand. You never want to turn off that gamma. I want to turn off that fuck camera. I love how the um, 
the narrator is just always in this just like matter of fact delivery. Yeah. Yeah. Fisherman just lost his arm. <laughs> but that won't stop him from hunting sharks. <laughs> so the real story is about the child, not about the mom. Yeah. Well, then it's cool because it let us use like a powerful shark, but now we have to work our way up from being a little pup. Oh, really? Okay. Because I remember there's like sharks that are like a threat to you. Or not sharks necessarily, but other like, fish and stuff. Or animals. Are you going to eat the... Are you going to eat the... The hand? Yeah, we definitely have to eat the hand. Yum, yum, yum. A famous big game hunter once posited that after an animal had tasted human flesh... Look at how tiny we are. So small. In zoom in. Can you zoom in at all? ...minded search for the most dangerous game. a submerged log oh yeah in this game like even though it takes place well and i believe it takes place in florida but um or no maybe not it's somewhere down south but even though it's a game that takes place in the water they've actually created like several like unique environments like they have like the sewer area i remember there's kind of a swampy area which we're in now and then there's the ocean and then there's a more deep ocean area too it would make sense for this to be uh what the fuck? That's funny. Remember, when planning a cemetery, try to avoid high-risk coastal areas. Oh. Okay. Gross. They're just like little collectible landmarks. Um. Find them all and earn the rewards. Which is funny, being a material artist, that we have to like think about like biomes and like get pretty in the weeds about stuff. But like salt marshes and whatnot are all over. Like, 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 you know, saltwater estuaries and stuff, like, so a little swampy saltwater area for a shark to hang out with is totally reasonable. Man, look at how tiny I am now. <laughs> Next to this giant... Oh no, where's the water? Okay, there we go, good, we're safe. <clears throat> this is a great underwater biome too and also the like the dusk coloration is pretty sweet too i like it yeah it adds kind of a murkiness to it yeah <laughs> so far like 10, 10 out of 10 environments honestly uh what's this the bull shark is able to attain larger maximal sizes through selective feeding ah uh, yes you just found a you found a crate full of creatine Mm-hmm. Well, and I know there's a way to, like, spend these points to upgrade, and, like... So, once my shark gets big enough, or, like, once I get... I don't remember exactly how it works. <clears throat> I don't know. Once we do something, my shark gets bigger, and then we get to unlock Man. and upgrade abilities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you think about it from a game design perspective, the game itself, the loop, is simple but kind yeah. of genius. Most most simple loops are the genius ones, though, to be fair. Yeah, I think so. Uh, well, it depends on what you're trying to do. Yeah. But for a game that you're just going to sit down and relax, you want kind of a simple loop. That is it. Uh... Start bigger, do a story mission. <laughs> See Scaly Pete do something ridiculous. Because, mm -hmm. like, it's not really, like, a story in the, in the, narr in the sense that, like, we're... we're, we're looking at some like Macbeth sort of like tale here, right? Yeah. <laughs> Though it's, I would be yeah. I would be it'd be funny if there were like <laughs> six There's kind of a corpse. story like I think we're going to have revenge on Scaly Pete. I mean that seems mom. to be like the goal here, like the drive. Okay, I think I need to turn the other way. <laughs> oh yeah, you, you go fastest on the surface like this. Do you? Mm-hmm. Weird. Yeah, it's a... Having your fin out, I don't know. I mean, sharks do it in real life, so it must serve some purpose. <laughs> well, I think uh, it's... I, th I, think, well. I think it serves the purpose of helping them then steer a maneuver in uh, in the water. Oh, that's a big yeah, one. Yeah, look at this catfish. Yeah, it's bigger than me. Not anymore. 
Oh, and I think we have to like go to a certain place to actually spend truck. our credits. Then we gotta go, yeah, go, go look at that and... truck. Go back and look at that truck real quick. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> um, back uh, turn down. There it is. Soul car. Yeah. What a great oh, touch. Oh, Yeah, what a great touch. Yeah, and I believe the seats are kind of limited, but you know, you know, you do the details they do. That's actually one important takeaway when you think about game dev and stuff is that like focus on the details that matter, right? There's a lot of details that especially younger devs will try to add to a scene or, or a game or whatever that it's just it doesn't it doesn't matter. Most of the time, like people aren't going to be looking at that; they're not going to see it. Do those seats look bad? Sure, but does it? Whenever you're looking at it, when you're swimming by, does it look like a pretty cool little sunken truck? Yes, that's all that matters, you know? Look at that big old buoy. What is that glowing? So these are where you upgrade stuff. The shark returns to the grotto to focus on personal transformation. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Okay. And we get to look at what our shark is. Look big old baby eye. Yeah, and it's cool how you can like see like your creature evolve through this, and it is like a mutated shark. Oh yeah, obviously. Well, not yet. What we're it's about going to be. Mutated. You just you just you just swam down but to the can... nuclear dumping site, so of course. So you can see all our stats there. They're all like baby stats. You are pretty <clears throat> baby. Look at that big old baby eye. Okay, looks like we get one organ evolution, advanced sonar, improves the range cooldown sensitivity of your sonar ability. Oh, I need money. Okay. I thought it was going to give me something for free. Not in this shark game. Do you have a body option, or you, you see all your options regardless? Yeah, I thought it was going to give me... I think you unlocked a tiger body. I don't know what that is. Go down to the body and see if there's anything there. Oh, yeah, there you go. I don't know how I didn't see that. <clears throat> so Garbage there's... disposal. Yeah, and I think there's... Um... Yeah, that's right. Evolution. You've Great. already turned into a monster. Bone armor, poison glands, bioelectric organs. Evolutions by gaining infamy ranks, completing landmark quests, apex predators. To equip evolutions, return to the grotto and press this. You can spend nutrients to upgrade your evolutions. Okay. I think, yeah, I think I just did something wrong here. Hold on, I think, yeah, I think we can, yeah, I can equip that, I just can't upgrade it. That's what it was. That's how I was confused. And then oh, gotcha. Have you have it, okay, that makes sense. You have it unlocked, you just have to, you can't upgrade it yep. yet. <laughs> and now, we look more tiger-like. Pretty cool. I also love that the gills are moving. That's an interesting <clears throat> touch. Very good modeling. Exhibiting behavior more common to whales and dolphins, this shark is able to use biosonar to locate potential prey. It's weird what this place is supposed to be. I don't know what it is supposed to be, but it's probably not good for the environment. And you're about to make that humanity's problem. Yeah, I think this, they just went artistic with it. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess they're re or maybe like this is like part of some science experiment. I think it's that would have been kind of cool if they would have explained explored this like in the story like yeah. why we're mutated because i don't think they ever really explain it we just mm -hmm. are a mutated shark so a lot of times uh whenever there's dangerous like underwater stuff like that they'll mark it with buoys and chains it. to it oh do i need to eat it okay there we go we got a collectible and i think those give you a little experience so they're worth getting mm -hmm. i really like this water uh surface Texture. I also like them because we're in the swamp, it's all brown. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Excuse me. Yeah, I don't know if there's alligators or crocodiles in this game. I don't remember. Oh, I think I just saw one. Right bumper to a bait. Okay. It's honestly an interesting setting when you get down to it. Like, the fact that uh, you're basically creating whole environments that are almost never really explored in games yeah because even if you go underwater in games it's not generally the whole game you know right. so the whole game is essentially exploring underwater environments that no one would say oh man i think hungry i i said it right when oh, there's three they of them. showed up i was like i wonder if there's alligators in here 
the game answered my question. And they are bigger than me. I don't know if I can actually fight you them. Run. To, you can probably yeah, outrun them. Run. And maybe I can fight them, but I need some snacks to recharge. You also need to not have three of them. Let's see what you <laughs> Oh no! But yeah, when we started, there wasn't much bigger than us. Okay, we're getting out of here. We're gonna eat a catfish. So, yeah, and you can thrash when you have an animal that's the same size as you. Oh no. Okay. I don't know if the alligators can deal with this. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen that maneuver, but have you tried this maneuver? Okay. Okay. But we'll have our revenge when we're bigger. I feel like I did pretty good damage to one of the alligators. You did, you did. That one, maybe. Yeah, maybe we can take him, because there aren't... He doesn't have his friends. And, like, maybe I can stun him with my tail whip. Oh, I don't have that. That's right. Nope, you're bad. gives us stuff that we don't have anymore. So, just like the sonar thing, um, it's a thing you equip as an ability. It's like a mini-boss. Yeah, and I don't think I'm supposed to fight him, but we're doing it. Because I took him out. And that's how we'll get really fat really quick. Oh, because each of them have a little, like, upgrade-like thing attached no. to it. Yeah, I don't know what that stuff that looks like bacon is. It's supposed to be DNA, but, I'm um, guessing, for your evolution. Yeah. Yeah, there's DNA, there's fats, there's minerals, and mutagen, I think is the green one. It might not be DNA, then. It might be something else. It could be curly bacon. Have you seen how you can, um twist bacon around like an asparagus and put it in the air fryer uh yeah i do it all the time it's delicious oh you do that okay yeah. i haven't done it yet it's really good asparagus we bought so some good. asparagus but i ate all the asparagus before we did that what so. you need though because like my problem is that like there's only a certain season here in texas where i can get the big and thick enough uh asparagus for it i normally have like just the, the, the real spindly asparagus, which are fine. Oh, yeah. They just don't do well, but like what you need for... Yeah, and a, you want a good balance for the bacon, so you want the yep. thick ones. Normally I like the spindly ones, but yeah, for bacon wrapped, I'd want the thick ones. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, damn. Dang. Yeah, good job on the first fight, or in that fight, but man, do they take a lot of health they get you. <laughs> the versatile grouper can be fried, grilled... <laughs> Giving us a recipe. Or made into a horrible tasting donut. <laughs> Did he say gelato or your... a horrible tasting something? Horrible tasting gelato. <clears throat> oh man, he's talking about what we can do with catfish. <clears throat> oh, he's talking about yeah, grouper. Wasn't... He's talking about grouper. Oh, grouper. Okay. Yeah. I think my favorite fish is definitely salmon. When I was in Hawaii, though, they have this fish. They have this fish that I think it just translates to yum yum or something. It basically tastes like chicken. It's weird if you cross like salmon with chicken. Oh, that's wild. It was very good. I had it on a burger. Salmon burger. Or not salmon burger. Some kind of fish burger. It was a catch of the day burger. I've been eating a lot of Pollock lately, because it's as cheap as tilapia and it has a different sort of like texture and flavor that I really like. So I use tilapia for stuff like my, I make hot and sour soup, I put like tilapia in, and then uh, I will just fry up the Pollock, you know, it's for change of pace sort of stuff. It's pretty good. I love this bayou environment. Okay, so I think I'm supposed to do this mission now. Oh, we could check out this question mark. See what that is. I'm just Something about oh, the I design think it's kind of makes me curious. I would love to take this into, what is that one program you use, that model ripping? Not the model ripping, but like the one that lets us kind of look at stuff. Oh, a model viewer? It's not model viewer, it's something Keegan and Greg used for a while. I have it installed oh. somewhere. You know what I'm talking about, though. Yeah, so they can rip things out so then they, they could 3D print them. 
Yeah. Well, they weren't 3D printing. They were ripping them out so they could look at how things were made, like how the devs made them. Okay. Um, I'd be curious to see how much of this environment extends from the shores, because right now they have a very good illusion of depth up there. But I'd be curious yeah. to look at it from like a sky high perspective to see like how far that actually goes. I think it actually goes pretty far. Like I think it goes like about 200 meters or 300 meters. Interesting. Um, because once we get bigger, like we can come back to these areas. Mm -hmm. And when you're bigger, you can really fly. Oh, destroy the target. I don't see the target. Maybe I need to use my thing. Can we just bite down there? Or is this target showing an area, not like a specific thing? Oh, musky yeah, no. business. So you gotta find a musky. Oh, okay. Is that red triangle <laughs> over there? Yeah, well, I was just... Oh, yeah, that might... Yeah, there it is. A muskalong. Oh, and it's a tricky fish, I think. So it dodges easy? Oh, man. Oh, shit, it fight. Yeah. It's oh, like shit. a little baby shark. Oh, oh shit, him. musky got hands. Yeah. Yeah. Oh right, I keep forgetting I don't have tail whip. Normally I'd use tail whip here to stun him. Is a freshwater fish commonly found throughout the Great Lakes region. So I have no idea what it's doing here. I like how they did that. They're like, this shouldn't be in the game, but if we use the narrator <laughs> The the addition of the narrator is hilarious. Also Scaly P is pretty funny too. Uh I I love the narrator they picked. I think it was a perfect decision. He's really good at doing just like dorky. The dorky deadpan dialogue. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it's perfect. Yeah, really good. I mean, honestly, in terms of like, I love uh, games that have like really uh, tight design. Right, like they knew their scope, they knew their scale, they knew what they wanted. A, my usual go-to example for this is Monster Hunter World. It has a very tight gameplay loop, very good design, right? There's problems, of course, but like, they knew what they wanted to do and they did it kind of fantastically, right? And this is a game I think is in the same boat. Like, simple premise, fun execution. Everything you want from a yeah. game. I think right now we're just fighting critters to level up. It's a snake above um, Oh, is there a water snake? There was a water snake right above you. That's cool. I think to upgrade one, you need a 2,000 to upgrade the, the organ. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's what we need necessarily. I don't think it's what we need. I haven't seen, I've seen you use but, the sonar like once. But we'll just hunt this alligator like it wants me to do, and then maybe I'll see what the next little mission is. Oh man, it's level 15. I oh, but you're it. bigger now, though. I just noticed that. Your last, We're like, a little bigger. Yeah, you definitely leveled up, like, big size-wise. Yep, and his yeah. bite has, has not leveled down. Oh man. Oh, I think I, I was fighting another critter. Ah! Okay. Okay. We might have to come. Well, I don't know. We're gonna. We'll fight him. Just do it. Do it. Don't be a coward. <laughs> okay. Oh. We gotta run. Oh, oh no! Say, that shark's whole anti-hero thing just wasn't playing for me. <laughs> Wasted. Cajuns that fish and trap here don't use depth finders or GPSs. <sighs> they know now, by you by did you lose anything when you died? Yeah, I don't think we lose. Yeah, I think we actually keep everything. So that's kind of oh, nice. Oh, that's good. I, I kind of like that in games because then, like, if you're really struggling, you're um, you can like struggle, and as long as you're making like some progress, you can make yourself more powerful and then yeah, come back. Yeah, yeah. It's about the grind. Like a right? lot of the, a lot of the roguelike games are like that. Um. Elden Ring gets around that in, a, in an interesting way, I think, if you think about it, right? Like, or Which any game? any FromSoft game, right? Like Dark Souls, okay. Elden Ring, because it's like the idea is that you're just punished once, and after you're punished, like 
there's almost it's funny because uh if you're in a hard fight and you like lose all your runes and you keep going back in and getting your runes back but like one time you forget to get your runes back and you die again you're almost freed of it like you don't have to worry about your runes anymore you're like well i lost them so you just you, you can just do whatever you want you can go and fight the fight you you like you're like like runes are almost a burden sometimes in the sense that you don't want to lose them but if you have nothing to protect in the like going into a boss fight like then you don't care you just fight and fight and fight uh which is an interesting dynamic right because it's basically like it punishes you once but then you're never punished again in that same way uh mm -hmm. and in this game you're not punished at all except for like being having lost Progress. the fight right yeah and having to go back <clears throat> I just think that like games that redefine oh, what darn it. Sh should be punished and what shouldn't, like how punishment Sadly, works, are, are more interesting. What's up? Oh, actually, crocodiles are totally different than alligators. They we are. lost the alligator fight, I think, but there's a crocodile fight over here. Hmm. Oh, never mind. They're just calling it a crocodile. What's the crocodile, yo? But oh an alligator is prowling around, as most alligators are generally inclined to do. I think this is a thing, anyone that's not like a biologist or a fish researcher or whatever has no clue what the difference between a crocodile and alligator is. I've tried to know, can't do it. It will not stick in my brain. It's snout. Just look at snout. Oh, Fuck it's it. a snout. Yep, big fat snout, Are you one of the alligator. Weird, you're, Slender so you're snout is crocodile. You're one of the weirdos that knows the difference is what you're saying. I am. I am. Also, there's a, there's a <laughs> creature called a caiman that's not a crocodile or an alligator, but it's in the same family. Uh, it has a super slender snout and it's a pescatarian, or because it's a pescatarian, it only eats fish, so. Uh, oh, interesting. It doesn't. It so doesn't, they're small then, right? They're actually big, but they don't really bite humans because we're not their prey. They don't, they, don't, they don't attack land animals, really, as far as I remember, because they, uh, they just don't have the mouth for it. They literally just eat fish. They, they like have these long, the slender snouts that are uh, meant just to like eat fish. Whereas crocodiles and alligators are both just like big, chunky faces. Mm -hmm. Now they'll eat both crocodiles and alligators. They'll eat anything, right? Yeah, anything that anything that gets in their mouths, they'll eat them. Uh, they don't right, particularly go order. after humans, but unlike sharks, they have no problem taking down a human. It's just that. Our habitats generally do not coincide. They're oh, far more likely to eat your chihuahua. And I know later there's barracudas. There's like every kind of fish. It'd be fun if there were like there's even fish pikes. that aren't supposed to be here. This fish is from the Great Lakes. No idea what it's doing here. <laughs> you know what it could be though? This, this kind of thing does happen. Like somebody has a pet and then oh, yeah. they're like, oh, I don't know what to do with it and they just release it into the ocean or an unscrupulous like import person who's importing a bunch of all it takes is someone who says like i'm gonna get this weird fish and make a fish farm in the states with it and then they, they none of their permits get the you know accepted or whatever and then now, now they just have to dump the fish somewhere well and like most like not i guess not most but like a lot of the wildlife like i was just in hawaii but a lot of the wildlife there is invasive. Like, there's goats everywhere. They came from somewhere else. Yeah. There's, yeah. like, mosquitoes. They came from somewhere else. Goats there's, are uh, terrible pigs. for them. They came from somewhere else. Go there's, oh, like, yeah, this tree sure. that's everywhere. That tree came from Texas because they wanted to raise cows over there. Cows from somewhere else. It's, like, it's kind of frustrating because, like, some of the stuff was, like, deliberate. Some of it was accidental, which I feel like eventually mosquitoes were going to get there, but... It would have been really great to not have to an island. To not do that? Who, who looks at Hawaii and says, yeah, cattle. That's what I'm going to do there. I'm going to raise cattle on yeah. Hawaii. Like, no. No, it has plenty of things. Why not just leave yeah. it to the people who live there? Oh, and it's overrun with chickens that have gone wild. Oh, man. I bet you wild roosters are mean as hell. I don't know, but they are cute. Like, the chickens don't bother me. And, like, the goats don't, but, like... The mosquitoes, it's like, why did you guys have to do that? Yeah, well, the that they were able that... to bring mosquitoes. I wonder how mosquitoes got there. Must have been in, like, stagnant water barrels. Stagnant water barrels is my guess. Yeah. They had 
You right are now. a perfect guesser. Oh, is it? Um, yeah, the... Um, I don't remember what the year was, but uh, 1700s, I think. They had their barrels of water on the fish. Or, uh, sorry. Their barrels of water on the boat that they drink out of. Those had mosquito eggs in them because they were drinking out of it all over, like, while on their journey. But then to refill it, they dumped them out in the river, and then they refilled it with water out of the stream on Hawaii, and then that's where all the mosquitoes Man. came from. Imagine the natives first experiencing mosquitoes. That is the true white man's curse. <laughs> they never experienced mosquitoes before, and then suddenly these, like, biting, annoying, buzzing insects appear. It must have been yeah. like a plague. It's like a little, like, a baby plague for them. That sucks. Yeah, it does. This water's and one weird, one weird thing about Hawaii is it's the, I mean, it's the only state in the U.S. that has a foreign country on its flag, because it's got the British flag on it. I'm like, this is the weirdest thing ever, and the story about it is not as interesting, or maybe it is interesting in how like nonsensical it is. If the a group of consenting adults wants to Hold perform on. cryptic rites to shadow forth the prophecy of the great old ones, who am I to judge? That's a Cthulhu statue. <laughs> it is. <laughs> oh, but the reason there's a um a British flag on the Hawaiian flag is because the king. Oh no, we're dead. Oh, we got chopped. I think we're dead, and I paused because I was trying to do this too <laughs> vigorously. <laughs> And yet the shark is eaten by someone's future Oh yeah, but the reason is the king really liked Britain and he had a good relationship with them. That's the entire story. Man, that's hilarious. It's like I like them so much, we're gonna just put their flag as our flag. It just lets you it just points out that like weird geopolitical stuff that happens is often just because a person had a had a vibe. So my theory before I looked it up was that they were colonized. I was like, okay, they were a British colony, that's part of their heritage, or whatever. There's your tailwind, by the way. Yep, nice. New age reached, we're a teenager. <clears throat> okay, I'm confused because it said I got tail whip, right? But I my tail so. is still locked. Or, um, I don't know. Actually, very. Hold on. It's just okay. Yeah, we are in the area. Yeah, you uh, are a team. We'll just... So weird. I don't know. Maybe we'll just play a little further. <clears throat> or maybe I unlocked like some special thing. Third cave Story. feminism. Yeah, sometimes it's fun to... Like, they actually... Their dialogue is great. Like, if you're ever just lost in this game, just look in your log or look in your uh, journal thing, and the descriptions are just great. So with, with lower, with lower yeah. both Go ahead. Arsenic and Fecal Coliform, Dead Horses Grotto is a great place to take a break and evolve. Objective, visit the Dead Horse Lake Grotto. All right. Maybe you have to go to different places to upgrade different things? I don't remember. Oh, here's my objective, I think. I think that... Yep. Or no, that's discover... Oh, there's our objective. Okay. Uh, now so we're that... big... So before we couldn't leave this area, we had... To... Our mission was basically to level up. But now we should be able to swim there. Because <clears throat> I think there's like a grate that blocks this. I wonder if you can hop overland, even. Um, In some areas, but... um, These zones are gated off, usually. Mm. I do remember that. Interesting way for them to do it. Hopefully Makes sense. Uh, I think often people forget that in games, like, sometimes there just has to be a level of artificiality to, like, the layout of the game world you're at. Because it still has strictures and rules, right? Like, it still has confines that you have to, like, live within mm -hmm. sort of deal. Well, and... And in this game, it serves the purpose of um, there will be different level creatures in different areas. So as we get bigger, we'll go further out to the ocean. Uh -huh. But as we're small, we have to be in these little inlets, which also makes sense because that's how real world works. Yeah, they hide out um, in places where they can hide out, where the big predators of the ocean mm -hmm. can't get them. Or their parents. And what level is our shark? Four. Okay, we're level four. 
Because I, I feel like you don't want to fight a level 15 at 4. I mean, you've been doing it pretty consistently. But yeah, I could try. It's a bit, <laughs> it's a bit necessarily... high risk, high reward sort of situation, though. Yeah, because we get a lot of meat. I don't know. Maybe we'll bite him once and see what happens. Let's give him a quick chomp. Oh, and you know what? Okay, we do have the tail slap. We just... So it gives us that, but then, like, upgrades to it will be something we get later. But, yeah, I... Let's not fight him. We just gave him a little love bite. Just a little, you know, reminding him. Oh, look at, look at the nuclear power plant that's right there. I wonder yeah, if that has we'll anything that to do with your evolution. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. cool. Oh, it would be funny, not that this would ever actually radiate anything, but it'd be funny if the tunnels you were in, or the tunnels that you were... The tunnels you were in as the, uh, as the mama shark, were the cooling tunnels that were pulling in seawater for the cooling. Um, I think there is a way to get into the power plant. That's funny. Alligator. Oh, and this, okay, this al oh, the alligators are level 8, the crocodiles are level 15. Oh, okay. And that makes sense, too, because didn't you say, like, alligators are typically smaller? Yes, they're typically smaller. In the States, not so much. In the States, alligators and crocodiles are oh, generally yeah. about the same size. I always do that too vigorously and hit my, uh, pause button. Oh. Oh, no, did I? Okay, I'm not quite dead. It's just telling me I'm about to die. I do know they can't fly the way a shark can. Yes, sharks are well known for their flying. <laughs> Yeah, I know, like, SeaWorld is bad and all, but, um, it would have been interesting to see if they could, um, train, like, a shark in the way they train a dolphin. But they... I don't think they're anywhere near as smart. But they've, they've gotta tried. be pretty smart. They are. They, they've tried. The problem is that, A, sharks aren't group creatures, which makes it harder to train them. Like, there's certain rules for domestication. And, oh, and they're not social, right? They're not social. And another quirk that makes it difficult, because they've tried to do some shark training. I think they've been somewhat successful, but sharks have a bad habit of dying in captivity. Just like giving up, being like, no. I'm out. Like, this great whites, great whites. I don't think there's any great whites in aquariums. There might be, but there are very few, because they have a tendency of As just swimming in circles until they die. They've had great whites in captivity they've tried? Yes, they, they generally speaking, the great whites and most sharks even like just <laughs> swim around in circles and die. They don't, they don't, they do not do well. Lake was oh, go ahead. Designated a super fun site in 1996. Oh, it's just no. hard to hear you when the narrator's narrating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they just said that it's a super fun site. So that is funny because that means it's basically an old dumping ground. Oh no. Maybe I was closer than I thought. These are all like nuclear casks. That's weird. I don't remember this at all. But that's what I like about having a bad memory is I can play these games over and they're <laughs> brand new, you know? Yep. So we like, may have... That's one thing people always, like people like to say like, would you really want to live forever? It would be a curse because like eventually you would like know and have done everything. It's like, I think it actually wouldn't be that bad because you forget about as much as you learn. So, oh yeah, yeah, you would. There would become a point I mean, in time where you just literally forgot everything that you've done, you know, 300 years ago, yeah. except for like outliving, really high points. Outliving the entire universe, though, that would probably be bad. <laughs> I don't know. A after a certain point, I'd be like, "All right, I'm in here for this." Like, you know what I mean? Like, if I've lived for a thousand years and I've already seen everything that I knew and loved fade away, I'd be in it, I'd be in it to the end. I'd be like, fuck it, let's see, what, let's see where this goes. These don't make entire sense to me unless this is part of an experiment. Um, my thought is that it's uh, a, a place where they were storing nuclear waste that uh, oh, flooded. It, yeah, I get it. Or like they're like essentially a big sinkhole, like a yeah, large yeah. landmass where they stored it by the water stupidly because, you know, they're humans. Um, oh, and look, then it's yeah, sunk into yeah. the water. Can you look to your left? Look to your left real quick. Because there's like an actual light post. And it's a super fun site. And super fun. Oh, no, there's one right there leaking right in front of you. That's like yeah, yeah. Chirkinov 
uh, radiation. I thought you were talking to me looking up something else. Yeah, I wonder if I... Maybe we can mutate. Oh, no. It's too much radiation. We, all, we want the right amount. We want the, we want to just the, we want the perfect amount of radiation. The sweet spot. The Spider-Man Spider zone. Yeah. If Spider-Man had more radioactive spider, he would have died less. He wouldn't have become mutated. There's a less, He would just be a hairy sick kid. Exactly. Or there would just be like gross webs just like spewing out of his arms. It's like, I can't help it, mom. It's puberty. Uh, so a super fun site for, if you don't know, is generally uh, a site that is been designated like extremely hazardous or like a problem, an environmental hazard or something like that, that needs to be cleaned up. And uh, usually... It's it's one of those weird corporate things, right? Where usually it's put in the hands of the of the corporation and they botch it, and then the government has to come in, the EPA has to come in and do it right. But you know, protein caches politics. like this one are a convenient and tasty way for sharks to increase their protein intake. Yeah, something happened here that sunk this whole complex the down. Has spun its next Wild. Such good, like, this is also another thing that's really fun in game design is, like, just environmental storytelling. Like, telling a story about, like, what's happening without ever actually saying. Because no one said, hey, this shark is a mutated monstrosity that's, like, been yep. sucking radiation. But then we, fl then we swim through this super fun site and we're like, huh, you know, things are starting to make a little sense as to why yep. we're able to, like, mutate. Yeah, I like that you learn through it just from seeing things. It doesn't tell uh -huh. you. So all my favorite okay. game experiences are that, of me just sort of, like, looking around. And actually to the point where it annoys my friends sometimes. Like, we were playing Final... What the fuck is that? Let's see. The artist spent 16 years building this sculpture out of trash pulled from the lake, only to have it thrown back in the lake by intoxicated locals. <laughs> Sounds I about love right. the landmarks. The landmarks in this game are great. <laughs> oh. Some of my favorite game experiences have been things that I've pieced together. And to the point, like I was saying, it annoys my friends sometimes. We were playing Final Fantasy 16, me and a bunch of my friends, and uh, I was doing all sorts of, like, I was, like, super invested. I'm doing, like, theory craft. I'm like, maybe this person is this one. Maybe this is the political maneuver for this. And they're like, or we'll just watch and find out, Mike. And I'm like, yeah. I get it, and but... You gotta try to not be annoying. Yeah. But it's hard sometimes. It's hard for me, that's for sure. I know when watching the Witcher TV show, there's so many things, it's like, oh, what if it's just this the whole time? And, like, because there's... That show is very dense. Have yeah, you seen yeah. it? I've seen I've seen parts of it, yeah. We were watching it a good bit. Uh, I saw probably about three or four episodes, but... I saw three or four episodes, and I saw another three or four episodes, but they were split, and it's like a, a decent amount of episodes in between. Um, so I saw, like, I think near the middle, and then I saw the end. Uh, it was good. That's weird. It was good. I haven't watched the new one, if it's coming out. I don't really don't know. I know there's a bunch of drama about that, because uh, Cavill got taken off of it. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Let's try it. A quiet space is the ideal stage for the shark to meditate. We should have enough stuff to get something hours. upgraded. Mm. Okay, we don't have any more of those. Or wait, hold on. I'm gonna... Oh, I see. We can just upgrade it from any spot. I don't know. Okay, let's look at this. Okay, we need 8,000 blue. That. 2,000 of this. Let's just upgrade it. I think it'll become handy later. Oh, and it's... Oh, yeah, it's passive. And later we'll get other bodies, and that's mm -hmm. kind of fun. <clears throat> well, we're getting near the end. Um, this was fun. Uh, such a unique gameplay. Like a simple gameplay loop, but they took a unique twist uh, to it. And just, I don't know, I knocked it out of the park. I think this game's super fun looking. I might grab it myself, to be perfectly honest. Uh, you're probably going to spend the rest of the day playing it, now that you're playing it. Uh, yeah, I kind of want to eat more fish. <laughs> yeah. Um, fun times. Uh, thanks for watching, those of you who watched. Thanks for uh, tuning in. We'll see you in a couple weeks where we play another game.
uh, and I'll start posting these shorts on our YouTube channel for those who are interested. Mostly the relevant stuff where we talk about actual gameplay stuff, not where we spit random factoids about fish and crocodiles we know. Uh, <laughs> it was fun. Thanks for joining us.